Hello everybody, I uh, hope you're doing really well. Today I've got a really nice little hidden Sussex gem of a piece of history for you today to talk about. So stay with me and we'll go explore it. I won't say too much, but you probably guessed it in the title anyway, but let's talk about it. Come on. Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we are in Ebernell and um which is in Sussex, just just near Petworth. It's a place that I've been to before. In fact, what I'll do is I will put a link down to Ebernell Brickworks, which is this has actually got an interesting story behind it. I visited this when I was at Ebernell Brickworks, but I thought actually at the time it would be better suited to get as much information on this as possible to actually share with you to give you a more historical sort of reference really for this as a sort of form of documentation more importantly so this is uh, Ebernell Lime Kiln and it's interesting because when you first come by it because it's flooded there's like a where the water lies you sort of like have to sort of double think it but basically um, what it is is it's an 18th century lime kiln and it was restored in 1996 and then what you'll note is that there's a sandstone retaining wall which is sort of to the left of it and then and then obviously that's basically created a ramp on the side for basically the charging platform and what it was noted is this is a sort of, sort of semi-special lime kiln this is called a flare kiln and what would happen is that on the top they basically pour all the chalk on top in small little nuggets and obviously with the intense heat and the burning then you'd eventually get the lime out and it was basically going to be used for basically this whole area really i mean the interesting thing with this lime kiln however although it's not you know i think we can use common sense although we know that it was around the 18th century this was dated it's very likely this would have tied in with Ebernau brickworks itself and if you've seen the Ebernau brickworks video again check out the link in the uh, description below you'll know that um, that was a hive of industry in a very small sort of scale really um, but yeah there we are it's beautiful around here and um, it's just a nice little kiln that just sort of seems to sort of stick out in the middle of nowhere so what I'll do is as you've probably sort of seen already but we'll, I'll show you around it properly let's go so we're now standing on top of the kiln obviously because it was restored you can see and you obviously you've already seen it anyway but beautiful condition for this flare kiln it's flooded on the inside but you can see the bricks that it is around and then obviously we've got wonderful little old sort of reference to it in the old map with a picture of it obviously designating that it was a lime kiln and still sort of roughly in situ of an our brickworks itself which actually if I was to point to you it's in that dis in that direction so over now brickworks is like literally I don't know about 20 minutes walk from here not far at all and you can see that people have kindly made this quite easy and to uh, explore. When, interestingly enough, when I came here, um, I'll try and get a bit more light. When I came here before, um, this was all really overgrown. So actually, I'm kind of in a strange way coming here a little bit later, um, about about a month and a half, two months since I went to Ebenau Brickworks as a recording this. This was totally well overgrown so actually what they've done is you can see they've got the old um, hedge cutter out and they've pretty much sort of just cut the whole lot off um but yeah beautiful like i said made of some sandstone there and obviously the you can see the bricks as well it's beautiful really and like i said noted as a flare kiln so you're basically pouring in elements of chalk in there in small quantities and then obviously that heat's just basically coming up in a big obviously like flares and a title clue in there and you've got that small little flume that goes down there and then it gets transported out and obviously then we're on this little we're on the road can you believe it or not this is the cricket this is Ebenau cricket pitch and then uh you can just sort of see this is actually on the roads and obviously you've got Petworth's not too far away so again you know it's in a good location of industry basically and I absolutely love it. Like I said, you know, when I came here before, it was 
I just didn't really have the time. I wanted to make sure I got some proper history behind it. And like I said, to see that old little map of it just sort of saying lime works on it, or lime kiln, sorry. Um, absolutely fascinating. I'm just so glad that I've just got to take you to this. Although, like I said, it's a small piece of history, it's absolutely incredible. So there's a beautiful aerial view of this on Google Maps, which is wonderful. It's just this, just this hole you can see from above. And it's, it's just like, it's really easy to spot. And it's wonderful. Like I said, I just, I just love these little bits of rural history. These are types of things that we drive by, we don't really sort of know too much about. And then when you dig into those historical records, you just see some wonderful pieces of history. And the fact that this does connect to Ebenau Brickworks it's, it's wonderful it just it really just encapsulates what rural industry sort of means on a sort of like level of that and the fact that obviously this was in 1996 restored which is they've done a beautiful job of and like I said especially now they've cut away at it so you can see it a lot clearer but absolutely wonderful and I really hope you enjoyed that let's get out of here Right, so just the final thing I just wanted to sort of show you and talk to you about, which obviously where the heat would have been coming out of. You can imagine on even a cold day like this, you'd be grateful for somewhere really warm. And the fact that obviously the bricks, if I remember now we talked about all this before, this wonderful flare kiln. Um, small in construction, but served a really important purpose. And we know that obviously with lime, it could be served in multiple, for building manufacture and even for agricultural purposes. But they've shut it off with this wonderful little sort of gate and it's ice. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. The frost has really truly come through. Anyway, hopefully you really like that. Any more words of Phoenix history? Thank you so much for coming along with me on this brief little interesting video about Ebenel's little lime kiln. I'll take you to it one more time. Wonderful. Really, really special. Yeah, any more words of Phoenix History? Thank you so much for coming along with me. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon. Kiss History Matters? Indeed it does. Kapow.